Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Etho and we are back again here guys with another episode of Project Ozone 2. Uh, so last time guys, we set up this, uh, well we got some oil, we set up a refinery, it turned one bucket of the oil into diesel, kerosene, gasoline, and LPG. We need the LPG to make plastic. Alright, and check this out, so this is what I was looking at here which we might want to figure out how to do. Not there. <laughs> See if I can find it again in the the crazy stuff here. Yeah, Amadron tablet. So I think if we get this Amadron tablet, we can, we can just put emeralds in it and it'll give us oil somehow. If I'm understanding this right. The Amadron tablet, it's an item I've never used again. Uh, it just takes the gray plastic to make and some red plastic. So that's what we should spend our oil on, is making the gray and red plastic, and then hopefully we get ourselves an infinite source of oil. Uh, otherwise, we might need to try to get an oil cow or something to do that. Because I don't want to keep like having to look for it and, and getting more, you know. Uh, so let's see, let's try to figure this out. If we... How do we do this? <laughs> How do we choose what we want to get out of there and put into s into something else here? I guess this uh, this first one must be the bottom one, right? Am I understanding that right? And the, the LPG might be the top one? So let's try pull out of the top here. And we'll put that into a fluid tank and just see what happens. Do we get the LPG out of there? Yeah, it's got nothing in right now. Auto extracts. Yeah, so the top one is LPG. That's good. We gotta then put that into this thing, the thermo pneumatic processing plant. Right? And that turns it into plastic. Let's see, cable. Just gotta love love my setup here. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll I'll make it look nice later. Okay, so I put the LPG in here. It I think it can work at zero pressure. Hopefully, that's where the yellow uh, curve here is. Okay, so if any of you played Factorio, this should be familiar to you. Or or if you know how real life works. Um so we take like this creates four different four different things here: diesel, kerosene, gasoline, LPG. If we want one specifically, like only LPG, we can do that. It says uh, can also be used in fuel cracking. So heavy fuels can be cracked into lighter ones. This means diesel can be turned into kerosene, kerosene into gasoline, gasoline into LPG. So if if we want, we can turn them all into LPG. We just have to run the, run it through here a few times. We got to give it coal to crack it, and that made this temperature arrow go up. So we also got to give this some 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 heat, right? So we'll set up a vortex cannon. Where'd those go? My inventory management is not on par today. <laughs> uh, let's see. How do I make it face the way I want it to face? It's always a challenge. It's different with every mod, you know. You can't just like use a wrench and have it work always. Okay, so do that, then we'll run a, a pipe up to here. That'll get some heat going, hopefully. Yeah, that's turning red. Temperature's going up, and it's running. Okay, so how much coal does it use? It uses one coal to make one bucket of plastic. And it doesn't use a full bucket of LPG to make one bucket of plastic. That's good. It seems to only use 100, 100 mil buckets. So one tenth of this turns into a full bucket, or it's a it's a one to ten ratio. Okay, cool. So after we get that, we run it into the plastic mixer, right? Lapis, <laughs> not blue. Uh, cactus, yeah. And we we don't really have a good source of red dye right now, so we might have to start growing red flowers. Uh, there should be some left in here though. No, I've used it all. Oh, darn. <laughs> okay, we probably got to start growing these poppies then. Okay, let's make our selection again. Red. Oh, was this here all the time? I didn't see that. Oh, they simplified this a lot then. This uh, this liquid plastic actually used to change color. It would become like red when you added red dye. Now you just choose what you want. That makes that so much easier. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, well. Looks like we got the gray too here. Good. 
Okay, Amadron tablet. We need the GPS tool. Good. And let's go ahead and make that. Oh, is this something? No, it's just a regular air compressor. Okay, hopefully this works. <laughs> uh, grab that. And yeah, that worked. Okay, cool. Made a charging station as well here. This is what you use to charge up any of these uh, portable pneumatic craft devices. So we got to connect that up to our piping. We'll just put it over here. Why not? That gets air pressure. We put this in and it should... Yeah, it's got... Oh, it's losing air. It starts with air. Okay. <laughs> starts with 10 bars of pressure. And uh, since this is less than 10, it's actually putting the air into here. So let's not do that. Uh, what else do we got to do here? I think that's it, right? So, so let's see if we right-click this. It brings up a list of things you can buy and sell. Let's grab some emeralds. So grab some emeralds. We can get emeralds really easy by uh, melting down villagers <laughs> in a tinker smeltery. Um, and I think we can grow them too, can't we? We can sell wheat for emeralds. Okay, let's grab some wheat and just try that. See if that's how it works. Oh, it's that thatch. Grab some thatch, put these away so we have some space. Okay, convert that. So let's see if we can sell our wheat to this thing. If we click it. Okay, let's look at information. I have no idea how this works. Items used to order items slash fluids. It is comparable to villager trading. Yeah, that's what I thought. Items, fluids are picked up and delivered via drones. Okay. A pickup drop-off location is required to be spe specified by right-clicking with an inventory and or tank. Okay, I'm going to have to look into this a bit more then. So we need drones to do this then. That's cool. This is like uh, the Amazon drone thing. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. I see where they're going with this. Where the, the drones make the package deliveries. So we're going to need... Ah, oh, to do a drone though, we need one of these these things. Darn. That complicates this a lot. Okay, actually, I think the whole drone thing is, like, imaginary. <laughs> I don't think we actually need to make a drone. I think we just need to give it a chest or a tank, is what it sounds like. Right-click it, maybe? Set the item providing location to... Yeah, I think that's right. And now, if we make an order, the stuff will go into the chest, right? Let's try it out. So, if we're getting items, they go to a chest. If we're getting liquids, they go to a tank. Let's try by one of these laser things. Oh, out of items to sell. Add more items in the bound inventory. Oh, we got to put our emeralds in here then. Maybe. Okay, now things aren't all red here. It, it says we can buy some things. Okay, so if we click that. Wait, it said... <laughs> New experience for me. Give me a moment. Oh, it's right click. Right click is add. Left click is subtract. Okay. Right click. Oh, yeah. Put a one there. Order. Okay. I think that gave us our order. Nope. Why not? In baskets. Put your own items to be available for purchase to other players. So if you're playing on a server, you can use this as a trade system too. Hmm. Let's keep some of these on me. Oh! <laughs> Wait a second. I think yeah, it might just take a moment. I saw the drone. He flew by. He took our emeralds and he didn't give us our thing, though. Did he? Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Where does he come from? He just, like... He just appears out of nowhere. Oh, from the void? <laughs> okay, he comes up from the void. Here comes another one. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. What are you doing now? I might have done like three orders here. I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, he's got it. So he must be bringing us one more then. I, I think I did two orders. They take the money first, then they bring the item. Yeah, this guy's going to have the next item, right? The first two took the emeralds, and then these next two are bringing the items. Yeah, okay, I get it, I get it. So if we want uh, oil, oh, we can't get the meat out of here, can we? Nope. <laughs> okay, what about our fluid tank? Do we still have that on us? Or we have another one here, yeah. 
Um, let's right click on this. How would they get the emeralds though if you're doing liquids? Are you guys ready for this? So one of the things they buy is lubricant and we got this barrel full of it. Remember the barrel you guys all laughed at? Well, it turns out it's going to be incredibly useful because we can get so many emeralds by selling this stuff. So here it is. What we do is right click, shift right click. Oh, what's that say? Too many items? Uh, can't store more items than currently buying. What does that mean? I know it's painfully obvious, but I don't understand. <laughs> uh, let's buy some of this other stuff too. So we want one of those, one of those. I just checked out the only way you can get these uh, programs in Kappa mode here is by buying them through this thing. So we had to do this actually. Okay, we'll place our order. No problems. Good. So they're gonna come by and they're gonna take the lubricant and then they'll drop off emeralds in this in this chest here, as well as uh, these other laser programs we need to make the PCBs. Okay. Uh, did he grab this stuff already? He must have. This one came from the sky. He didn't come from, from the void. Oh! Oh, wow, there's a bunch of them, actually. <laughs> I guess there's one for each order. Or, like, each item, not not just for the one order. So he's, he's probably going to have quite a bit on him, because we sold a lot. It's one emerald per two buckets, and we have... Like, 63,000 buckets there. <laughs> uh, oh, he brought the PCBs. The blueprints. What do you need blueprints for? The light box. Oh, if you get the light box, then you don't have to do the etching acid method. This would be a lot simpler. Okay, I think I get it now, guys. So you can, you can give it a chest and a tank uh, together. That's how they're able to get the emeralds. Um... I've been trying something here, like to buy oil, for example. If you just give it an empty tank, oh no, it does it does become available then. Like if this is not here, that trade is not there, right? Yeah, this is red. This is red now. We can't buy oil unless we have an empty tank for it, or if we give it a tank that has oil in already, we can buy or sell it. So this is us selling oil. This is us buying oil. Let's buy some. One, one emerald per bucket. So if we buy, let's do 20. Then they should probably take the emeralds first and then deliver the oil. Okay, here's the drone. We have 21 emeralds. He took 20. There he comes. 185 to 205. Yeah, so 20 buckets of oil. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> I like this a lot. I think this is a really neat system. All right, cool. So we got the, the blueprint here. Let's go ahead and just make the U, uh, U, UV box. Is, is that what it was called? UV for making the the PCBs. So we need some compressed gears. Just make two of those. Let's make our UV box. Cool. So now we need to give that air pressure. Oh, wrong way. Uh, this way. Yeah, that connected now, so this has pressure. So then we put in these uh, empty PCBs. We make those by smelting a failed one or green plastic and compressed iron in the chamber here. Okay, let's do um, compressed iron. Maybe we'll make a bunch of these. And I think we can automatically make the plastic from this thing. So if we set up a chest, let's grab a chest real quick here. Chest. If I understand it right, that's what the locking thing is for here. So if we put this here, pump the items out automatically. Turn this to insert, this to extract. Yeah, if we go to here and choose green plastic lock selection, then, yeah, so it'll, it'll use up all the liquid plastic it has and then those pump into a chest. So that's how we can automate this. So let's try to figure out this chamber now. There's some arrows and some bones stuck in here. <laughs> I guess because some mobs spawned and died inside. I can't just like click these out of the inventory. We ha have to set up some chests here, I think. So I'm guessing this is output, maybe. We'll see. Let's put a chest here, a chest here, some cables, conduits. So let's try pull those out. Oh, no. Inserts. We'll see if this is... 
yeah, that pulled the items out. So this would be input then, I'm guessing. That's the way we set this up. So let's turn that to inserts. This to extract. Okay. And how do we do this? We have to set up a filter. Otherwise, just as soon as the item goes in, it'll come out. We don't want that. So let's... Uh, on the output here, let's just put an egg here. So it will only pull out eggs from the chamber. Just for this first run here. <laughs> so we'll put in 13 of these. And 13 compressed. And it should make 13 PCBs unless they come out this other side here. I think it'll be fine. Um, I can see the plastic over there. Are they combining? Oh, yeah, iron. It's making the PCBs. And now that they've all converted, we can start pulling them out of here. So we remove the filter, and then let's actually add that as the real filter. So now it'll only pull PCBs out of there. Okay. And then we take these and we put them into our UV box. Right? This item does not despawn anymore. Etching success. Yeah. Otherwise, the method you have to use is you got to make this etching acid stuff and then you throw them in that and it takes a long time. Um, we were able to jump ahead a step here, which is cool. <laughs> All right, so we can start making that kind of stuff. All right, guys, well, we'll do more pneumatic craft stuff in uh, future episodes, but let's change it up here a little bit. Uh, there is this division sigil, the pseudo inversion sigil thing. <laughs> I've always wanted to try to do this. It's, it's like a crazy quest thing. So let's read this a little bit together here. It says, after being activated once, the division sigil can be activated again to transform into a pseudo-inversion sigil, a ritual significantly more complicated than the first activation, which can only be performed in the end dimension. So you remember when we changed the grass to uh, Cursed Earth? This is like the next step to that. Um, so we got to go to the end. It says we got to do something with beacons and redstone. Um... Yada, yada, yada. So then we got to set up these four uh, vanilla chests, just regular chests, and put items inside them. So there's a northeast, west, south chest. The north one is the fire items. So that's anything made in a furnace, stone, glass, hardened clay, charcoal, iron. Uh, you need to specifically put these items in the chest. Then there's the earth items, which uh, are like ores and also... What else is it? Like dirt, sand, gravel. Then we got to do water, which is 12 different potions. And then there's the air one, which is 12 vanilla music discs. That's a little bit of a tricky one, but I've been uh, I've been getting ready for it here. <laughs> Remember those uh, creeper seeds and skeleton seeds? Uh-huh. So this is running. We're getting skeleton essence. I did the creeper seeds already. So what we can do is actually make records in uh, in Kappa mode here, or in this pack. So if we look at the music disc recipes, you need Creeper Essence, Skeleton Essence, and a die for each of these. So basically, that is all we got to do to get the music discs. That's nice and easy. Die. So let's go ahead and do that. So, oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I guess there's not, no, there's not 16 different records, is there? That makes sense. So there might not be a color for each of them. Kind of odd that, like, most of them didn't work already, though. <laughs> uh, that's blue. Let's double check that it is dyes. Yeah, we just got unlucky on the, our color choices here, I guess. 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so I think there's, like, 14 or 15 items on this list here. We only need 12. I got 12 here, so I think that's all good. Uh, still need three more from Earth. We need to do the potion things. Got every single record made except for the one that's uh, that requires black dye, the ink, because we have no way of getting ink right now. So I think we're going to have to either make black wool and crush it, or dye seeds are going to be a lot easier. So let's do that. So we need four colors of dye, Cacio and Missio. Let's grab some bow meal here. Hopefully that works out. We'll head over to Botania land and start growing those. Uh, potion stuff should be fairly easy. I think we can do that. It's going to be time consuming to, to get them all done. OK, 
Okay, throw that on. And four orange. I don't see the orange. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm blind. Uh, one, two, three, four. Count with me. Let's grab our hang glider and off we go looking for ores. Um, I think we dug out a spot. Where was that? Up over here. There might be some just up exposed already. This looks like lapis here, actually. Yeah. So we got our lapis. Coal. Okay, here's iron. Let's grab the iron. No good. Oh, there's there's one piece of gold here. Cool. Yeah, then we can just smelt these in a furnace. They turn into the regular ores. And grab those. Lapis works too. Yep. Good. So that'll finish off the earth chest. I think. I think I did that right. <laughs> I'm hoping we don't need the emerald ores. Uh, so those two are done. We just need potions. Let's go see if we got any dye uh, made already. I got them being 10 10 10 right now. Let's check out our chest here. Yeah, we're starting to get some. Uh, what was the pattern? It was a, it was three of them, right? In a line. Let's go to our inventory panel here. Or no, let's do it here. Yeah, we can make black ink now. Throw that in the middle. Cool, so we got all the music discs made. That just leaves us with the potions. So, to make the potions, we do have blaze rods being uh, uh, made in our, our farm there. We did the blaze seeds last episode, I think. So cobble, get some brewing stands. So I think, if I'm reading this right, it says 12 of the 62 vanilla potions with an actual effect. So I don't think we can do like awkward potions and have that count as an item, but we can do like a strength potion, extended strength potion, Splash Potion, Extended Splash Potion. I think that all counts as different items. I'm hoping. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do here. And we'll see if it works or not. Uh, what am I doing here? Let's do Strength. So, <laughs> I think I messed up pretty bad here, guys. I can't find our Division Sigil that we activated. It's not in my bag here, right? I don't see it. And I'm checking all the chests around our place here, which makes me think I might have put it into our system. And that's one of the items that will get recycled if we put it in. So I might have messed up pretty bad. <laughs> Unless it's on Botania land. I did not check there yet. Let's uh, check out our diamond chest here. No, I think we got to do that all over again. Ah! Big mess up. Big, gigantic mess up. Okay. Well, darn. <laughs> we did get all the items together here. We're done this. Got 12 of each. So that's all good. Let's grab some coal. We'll turn it into mini coal. Throw that into our loot recycler. And that way we will get lots of loot bags all at once here. And then hopefully we get a division sigil to show up here. Yes, yes, we got one. Whew. Okay, so it's inactive. We have to activate it, though. So we got to do that whole Cursed Earth uh, routine again. <laughs> Wait till midnight, convert it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, I tell you what, guys. Uh, this is going to take a little bit of time for us to do. Like, even after we activate it, we got to fight 100 mobs as part of the quest there. And we're not even ready to activate it, so that's, that's going to take a bit of time. Uh, so we'll save this till next episode, unfortunately, and we'll just like plan to wrap up here for today. We'll do a few piddly quests before we finish things, though. So, knapsack, guys. We need a Constantan Tough Rod. I just I just threw that into the smeltery here, so let's, let's get that going. Uh, tough Rod. Put that over here. It was just two, right? We actually made this stuff by accident. Like, I threw a bunch of things into the smeltery, and it made constant tan, and I got all upset. <laughs> but now, like several weeks later, we're actually using it, so it wasn't a total mistake. I used I used to use it a lot, but then if you die with this on you, like, you lose all your items, I think. It's not great. They don't go into your grave, I think, unless that's changed. You know, like, when you die and there's your grave marker with all your items? I think your items shoot out of it anything in the knapsack. Maybe we'll try it out, though, again. So I'll put that on, and 
now that we do that, we have a knapsack slot. Let's put something in here, like a cube. So if I ever die down the line here, we'll see if that, like, goes into our grave or not. Let's open up our reward bag. It's a good bag. Got some fancy lights and stuff. <laughs> uh-huh. I always thought, like, these lamps are kind of cool, but they really don't suit Minecraft too well, do they? I don't know. Maybe in the right, right circumstances they would work out. Okay, we got another quarter heart here. Let's... Let's actually combine some of our hearts. We've we probably got a few here. Yeah, we make three of them. Let's do that. Extend our lives. Up to nine now. And what else can we do here in our book? I think we were close on this one, too. Something was missing. Let's see. High voltage. We have three wires made. What's missing here? Nothing. <laughs> okay. All right, well, I guess that one's done, too. I wonder why I didn't finish that earlier. Maybe I made those since then. All right, that's another quest done. We got the... Oh, that electrical wooden pole. Electrical pole with transformer. So we need some heavy copper stuff. Heavy... Oh, we got some of that made already. Okay, insulated glass stuff goes into these. We're a few short. Make some more treated wood here. Turn those into sticks, into fences. Good. Can we make the electrical pole? Let's find out. Wooden pole. Yes. Okay. That was the last piece. <laughs> All right. Hand in another one of these uh, janky quests. And we'll do one more of these real quick here. We got the power cable uh, quest here. We've done high voltage or low voltage already. We've used them. We never did medium voltage, though, which is Electrum, I believe. Yep. Make that up. And hand that one in, too. Yeah, these are the Alpha Quests, so we're just flying through them here. <laughs> They're not hard. It's just we don't need the items, right? So we haven't done them yet. Oh, we're out of hard clay. Okay. Maybe we'll, we'll stop there, then. Open up our bag. Cool. And a greater bag. Ooh. Item dislocator, that's something new. Shift right click to activate. I'm a little scared to use this at our base because I don't know what it does. <laughs> Maybe I'll go over here a little bit. Shift right click. Does this move blocks? No. Uh, maybe it's like a magnet? Oh, it's like a magnet, okay. Oh, that's cool. Oh, draconic evolution. Aha. So it doesn't take power or anything either, it seems. That's good. That's a really good one, then. Cool. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. We'll do that uh, Division Sigil thing again next episode. But uh, thank you for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.